Hi guys, welcome back to Sketchnote. I'm Nishtha, and I've got a superb new update for you this week. But before that, let me set a scene for you. You know, on your daily stand-up boards, every day when you add your name, you're supposed to add certain subtasks to indicate what you've been working on. Or sometimes when you need to move a task from column backlog to column in progress, you know you're supposed to start a timer. And when you move the the task from in progress to completed, you know you're supposed to stop the timer. But when you've got so much going on on your mind and uh, on on an everyday basis, it can get a little overwhelming, or you may even forget about it uh, when you're working on certain tasks. Therefore. This week's update is going to change your entire life. Say hello to Sketchnote Automations. We are starting to build a library of automations on Sketchnote, and these are the very first ones that we are releasing uh, for your use. So you can check out how they work and how it like looks in action. Let me tell you how it is. When you open a Kanban board now, you'll see a nice new button called Automation. Just click on it, and you'll see a when and then. column all right it's very simple it, you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to think about anything all you need to tell sketch note now is when this happens then this should happen and currently these are the options that you can choose from when a task is created you can create a sub task or you can start a timer or stop a timer let me quickly show you how this works uh with the task one so when a task is created i'm going to say create a sub task the sub task name should be sub task one and sub task 2 and even a sub task 3 perfect that's it all i need to do uh, is tell sketch note hey if i create a task you need to automatically create these three sub tasks i'm going to create an automation and it's been created successfully let's see how it works all right i'm going to create a task and the sub task should automatically get created now i'm just going to call this task 1 and magic i have just managed to save a good few precious seconds which build up and build up and build up turn into minutes and hours and this is the way you can save on uh, a lot of time and energy and a lot of human resources across your company it's no joke uh, you'll now be able to automate an entire board to create sub tasks for you even without you know uh, like adding sub task manually every single time Let me tell you about the other sub uh, other automation as well. Uh, I am going to make two automations at once at the moment. When the status of a task changes from backlog to in progress, then you need to start the timer. All right, cool. I'm just going to create this automation, and I'm going to create yet another automation. When the status changes from in progress to completed. indicating that fine i'm done with everything uh you need to stop the timer i am a lazy person i do not want to start and stop my own timers on this board especially all right let's see how this works so uh you already have task 1 i'm just going to put it in the in progress column and just as you can see the timer is already on so even without you actually going and manually having to start and stop your timer every single time you're working on a task you can automate your board like this to start and stop the timer and the best part is it doesn't just apply to you it applies to your entire organization everyone who works on this board that uh, their timers will automatically start and stop when they start you know when they move a task from one column to the other and that will give you like again it will not just save like a lot of time and energy and human resources but this will also give you the most accurate timing uh for you to track in analytics and see where your backlogs and where your pipeline breakages are happening let me quickly put this in uh, the completed column and see if the timer shuts off there you go and done <laughs> without even me doing anything the timer is now being shut so that means that i have logged the exact amount of time to the second that i have spent on this particular task like i mentioned earlier in this video that this is just the beginning of the automation library for sketch note we're going to be building more and more of these but for now these are the ones that you can use and absolutely um you know kind of automate your board into working uh, just the way you want it with the most accurate data and saving on a lot of time and energy so yeah there you have it like the most amazing automation features are coming to sketch note and we've just gotten started with this one 
so i hope you have a good one with this and enjoy um our new automation feature the other thing that i want to announce in this video is a small bug fix that uh, affected a lot a, 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 a small unit of uh, users on sketchnote uh, wherein pinning and unpinning of files weren't exactly sticking but now just to let you guys know uh, that it it absolutely works for example a top secret workspace all right cool so now when i pin uh, the sidebar will uh, it will show in the sidebar absolutely and on unpinning it will absolutely disappear from over there so yeah there you have it this bug's been fixed if you guys come across anything that you want us to incorporate on sketch note or you want us to uh, improve on sketch notes features please feel free to drop us a line on you uh, on this youtube video on the emailer that you have um, received this video in or any of our social channels and we'll be more than happy to help you see you again next time i hope you're enjoying automations thank you for watching